Okay, so um, here we are at the only remaining structure from the Berghof. Uh, the Berghof was, again, Adolf Hitler's vacation retreat. It was also a, like, second power center for Nazi Germany. Um, Hitler spent more than a third of his time here at the Berghof, down here in Bavaria on the border of Austria. Um, so the Berghof was like almost like a second capital of, of Nazi Germany, behind Berlin, of course. Um, all that remains of the Berghof is this concrete foundation, which you can see extends all the way down here to, 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 to the camera's right, and all the way back here around down to the camera's left. Now, let's, uh, let's go walk up in here, and uh, I'll talk as we walk. Um, you know, it's here. The Berghof, of course, was a very large uh, building, and this is only part of what rema remains. It was bombed by the British uh, in 1945. Um, it was destroyed and set fire um, by members of the German SS at the very end of the war. And then the remnants of it were um, ordered destroyed, um, in part by the United States and also partially by the Austrian government, if I'm not mistaken, um, in 1952. Today, you see here, um, if my camera, my beautiful camera lady, Jennifer, will show us over here, you see the sign. And the sign is explaining to you what this was. Um, the German government has increasingly embraced the difficult legacy of the Second World War, of the Holocaust, and so forth. Um, but initially, um, in the 50s, these types of things were, the Berghof, these types of things were more difficult for Europeans to look at. It was a very tragic, obviously a very tragic and disastrous past that um, in, caused incredible transformations in Europe and led to massive depopulation. In, in, in Europe, so it's incredibly tragic, and it was here, of course, at the Berghof, where the key decisions were made that led to World War, World War II and, of course, also the Holocaust. Um, and so Europeans had a, a difficult time uh, looking this history in the eye, this dark, tragic uh, past, and being here certainly has a certain, uh, a certain air of, of darkness. You can feel uh, sort of dark energy here, knowing that this was Hitler's house. This was Hitler's vacation home. This is where Hitler spent a third of his time as the Fuhrer of the Third Reich. And it was here that the decisions that would lead to the death of millions of people would lead to the most tragic and destructive war in human history would be made. And so as we look at this remnant, kind of hidden in the woods, this is very much part of Germany's hidden history. And it's not clearly marked at the beginning of the trail. Now, they do have it here explaining it, but this is something that is not a part of the history that I think um, um, uh, um, Germany, for a long time at least, I believe, did not want to look directly on. And it became sort of the hidden past of a darker past uh, in German history. Uh, the remnants of Hitler's Berghof, the second capital of the Third Reich, and, of course... Um, the place where some of the most tragic decisions uh, leading to the, the Second World War and the Holocaust were made. Um, but you, if you know what you look for and you come to the right place, high up in the, the mountains of Bavaria here, uh, you can find this dark and hidden past.